video for chikungunya and dengue fever awareness related to the recent outbreaks of this infection in different parts of world, especially in Karachi, Pakistan. Dengue and chikungunya viral fever spread by the same mosquito Aedes aegypti female and the symptoms are quite similar including headache, fever, skin rash, severe joint pain and sometimes gastrointestinal disturbance accompanied by a marked decrease in platelet count in your blood report. Your doctor may ask you to go for ELISA test for further detection of antibodies in your blood for that particular infection. So what you can do if you are diagnosed with dengue fever? Well, the first thing you should do is to increase the water intake and you should take juices and fluids as much as possible, especially orange juice. And you should also take fruits that help you to increase platelet count, especially papaya, which is great in dengue fever to increase your platelet count. So what we can do to prevent dengue fever infection and to stop mosquito breeding? Well, you should always keep your water tanks covered with lids, clean the drain pipes, and if you have water pool in your home, then change the water on every alternate day. Wear full clothes while going outside and apply some mosquito repellent lotion. Keep your utensils and containers covered and always dispose garbage properly, especially the solid waste that can accumulate water. There are several myths and misconceptions related to dengue fever like it spreads from person to person which is so not true because it mainly spreads by mosquito bite so give care to your loved ones and be with them. Well the reason is why I am doing this video particularly for Karachi because Karachi is my city, my hometown and uh, it is the fifth largest city, fifth largest metropolitan city in the world and by doing this video, I want to bring this issue in government's notice because the recent outbreaks of uh, chikungunya and dengue fever have raised serious health concerns. And um, I think during the last decade, the population of Karachi has suddenly increased. While so many townships are not properly developed, they don't have proper drainage system, proper sewerage system. So I think... Uh, uh, the garbage heaps and the accumulated drainage water is the main reason of mosquito breeding in those areas and uh, I think now it's time that our government should seriously think about developing those areas because this may lead to further health issues. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep your surroundings clean and safe.